Emma here for today's video. I'm going to share you guys 15 fashion hacks that will change your life. Without much further ado, let's get right into this. The first hack is layering. We all need to master the beauty of layering because layering is the key of any outfit and layering also help us to keep us warm and cool at the same time. There are many ways you can do layering. The first one is mix and match with high-end and low-end items. For example, I really like this Alessandro Wang bag. You can see it's on a little bit high-end side and the clothings are not really expensive so I'd like to mix and match with different body points items especially shoes bags outers those kind of stuff which should last longer sometimes i do pursue some trendy styles so i like to go with a little bit body friendly items on clothing we can also mix and match with different vibes for example feminine vibe and casual vibe at the same time so I dress up myself like this. I'm wearing a little bit feminine dress like floral dress and a casual leather jacket at the same time. So it gives a little bit controversial vibe at the same time. So I like to mix and match like this. So don't be afraid to mix and match with different styles, body points and feel. So explore different kinds of layering. The second fashion hack is have your statement jewelry. I know if you're a simple person, you don't like many easy stuff in your outfit. But definitely small accessories add more style to your outfit. You can see I'm very simple girl. I don't wear many jewelry stuff. But I do like to wear earrings. So so my statement jewelry is earrings so I really really like this kind of hoop earrings so this is my statement jewelry so if you wear gold jewelry it's good to match with other accessories in gold color as well so that's gonna give you more cohesive look I prefer gold and rose gold color than silver color I don't know that just gives a nice and elegant vibe yeah that's just my preference so my statement piece is gold hoof earrings third hack is flat heel converse the reason why I like this kind of shoes because I just don't want to compensate my comfort for heels. I know the benefits of heels and I'm wearing heels all the time in videos but in real life I don't wear heels all the time. I often wear them. But Converse are very comfortable and easy to wear. I always want to make my legs look more elongated because I'm on more on average height. They are easy to match with any kinds of casual outfits and I can be taller without discomfort Comfort, so I really like them and I wear them very often because they are comfortable. Excepting for Converse, there are many items with flat heels such as wedge heels and loafers with flat heels. You can explore your favorite flat heels to give you the look you want with comfort. The fourth hack is create your capsule wardrobe. I'm not gonna tell how I create my capsule wardrobe in this video but there are some basic principles for capsule wardrobe. For example, having basic pieces and statement pieces and some trendy items so you can mix and match in them and you can optimize your wardrobe with less items so I can share my basic pieces I can also share my trendy style and it's also good to have clothing in nice pop of color so although you are wearing in a little bit boring or similar shade outfits colorful clothing makes your outfit look more interesting so I really recommend in terms of basic items such such as t-shirts, sweaters, cardigans, jeans, those kind of stuff. They are basic items so you can keep them in your wardrobe and you can mix and match with them. Your favorite items or a little bit more trendy items so you can maximize your style. The fifth fashion hack is wearing high waist bottoms and talking in t-shirts. Some people prefer to wear crop tops with high waisted bottoms but sometimes that's not really comfortable. Does that make sense? I'm a little bit conscious about my stomach area. <laughs> Should I call them tops? But by tucking in a t-shirt inside of the high waisted bottoms, I don't have to worry about them and that also gives a nice look like wearing a crop top and that really accentuate my waistline so I look slimmer. Instead of wearing boxy type of tops and just normal pants, high-waisted bottoms 
and a talking t-shirt that's gonna make you look more flattering the next fashion hack is mixing prints and patterns it could be included the layering part mixing and match but i want to separate this part because there are many things i want to cover but for the shape of the length i'm just going to talk about some of them so in patterns we have animal print checkered print floral prints body prints there are many of them for example animal prints are giving us more like fashion forward vibe and that kind of prints make me look sexy and floral prints gives a very airy girlish vibe and checkered prints give me a nice elegance and classic look i know sometimes this could be intimidating to wear items in patterns so my advice is just add one patterns or prints to your outfit just don't go over two that's gonna make your outfit look busy and it's difficult to match with other items so always mix and match with patterns and solid colors can give a simple but stylish outfit so feel free to let me know what's your favorite pattern or print i really like floral prints and also animal prints i used to be very into animal prints but not anymore these days the seventh fashion hack is wearing similar shade items the reason is that it's gonna give you a cohesive look and that's not gonna cut your upper and lower body so it's gonna give you a nice silhouette and that's gonna make your legs look longer and elongated why i recommend you to wear similar shades instead of the same one just to give a little bit more variety if you don't want that you can also go with the same one like all black kind of stuff you can also add more interesting items like your statement accessories or a nice pop of colored items such as handbags you can always add something to make your outfit look more interesting but if you want to have a nice illusion of a silhouette i would recommend you to go with similar shade clothing at the same time the eighth fashion act is to give a nice pop of color to your boring outfits so when you create your capsule wardrobe it's always good to have some colorful items although you don't wear them much or if you don't want to buy a little bit colorful clothing you can always go with colorful shoes bags or scarf that's gonna customize your outfit the ninth fashion act is it's a little bit more on the habit side always dim your outfits on the weekend i don't care how much your clothing is and how your clothes are great if they have wrinkles that's not really stylish i know steaming could be a little bit intimidating we all busy but if it takes some of your time to steam your clothing on the weekend that's gonna be a game changer although you have a lot of clothing in your wardrobe you think i don't have many things to wear maybe you need to reconsider steam them they're gonna revive again it's good to have this kind of steamer i used to work in a fashion industry before like fashion retail and whenever i don't have my customers and we do that like interns and i enjoy that many times i was exhausted by talking to many clients and i feel like i'm in a mood of meditation the steaming could give you that kind of feel meditation so steaming could calm you trust me <laughs> the 10th fashion act is having a seizure like this it's good to have this kind of seizure it's meant for all the clothing because sometimes our clothing are not neat we have like bread in that case you can use your seizure but the seizure is a little bit big for your clothing so it's difficult to cut that thread i like to keep it this one and i always trim my clothing whenever that happens so it's good to keep that in your drawer and you can use that in those kind of emergency situation the so next item is this this fashion hanger this hanger is a life changer i didn't know that there were this kind of pants hanger at the time i was a little bit frustrated because my hangers left marks on my skirts and pants although i steamed them all the weekend so i feel like oh my efforts just went away so i researched it and there are specific type of hangers like this i know it's a little bit expensive comparing to normal hangers but it's good to have this kind of hangers if you don't want to spend a lot of time steaming your clothing so the 12th fashion hack is this thingy i don't know how to call that in english we call that doldori because we can roll it over doldori is like rolling the reason we all need this roller because our dark colored clothing is like black brown those 
those kind of colors tend to get dust really easily you can roll over that to your clothing and your clothing look polished and if you have your animal friend like cats and dogs i know the fur is all over your clothing so you definitely need a roller like this to make your clothing look clean and neat the 13th fashion hack is bralette bralettes are amazing items especially the one with pads so i have this kind of bralettes in my wardrobe because they are really comfortable at first because they don't have any wires i can wear them as an inner wear i can also wear them by itself with cardigans so i can wear them like just normal tops so i can get a lot of use out of them i can also wear them as a loungewear so if you don't like this comfort of bras and you want a versatile piece bralette is gonna be right up your alley the 14th fashion hack is i think not many people know about that you can use transparent nail polish to your ripped tight i know the frustration when you rip your tights or you realize that your tights are ripped <laughs> You can always use a transparent nail polish over your tights and that's gonna prevent your tights from ripping more <laughs> it's already ripped that's already happened but you can always make things less worse does that make sense please share this video to let many people know about this hack because i think not many girls know about this hack the last fashion hack is choose a skirt with underpants i'm a skirt person but i'm always worried about my underwears but by choosing the right skirt with underpants i don't have to worry about those kind of hassles they're completely skirts and they look skirt but they just have underpants inside of this so i don't have to worry about all of my mentioned and i don't have to wear another underpants so at first i can save up time money effort but you can definitely check before you get a new skirt whether it has underpants or not a lot of korean clothing have that so i'm really happy about that yeah so these are 15 fashion hacks i want to share with you guys i hope you like all of them and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel i upload fashion and beauty videos for women who want to glam up so if you like that idea please subscribe thanks for watching it and i hope you have a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video